In this feature video, we're going to look at OSC or Open Sound Control for QuickQ. This is a new feature added in version 6 of the QuickQ software and is available for QuickQ consoles or the QuickQ rack. It enables control of both playbacks and 10 scene buttons. OSC is configured on the QuickQ console by first going into the menu button on the top right, going to settings, and then going to network. In the network window, toggle to the protocols tab. Then hit the slider to enable open sound control. On the right, you can see the remote log of incoming OSC commands. OSC commands can be sent over network either using the inbuilt Wi-Fi on the QuickQ system or via the QuickQ's inbuilt network port connected uh, directly to the device sending OSC commands or with an external access point or router. If you're using the inbuilt Wi-Fi on the QuickQ system, you can quickly press the Wi-Fi button on the top right here to display a QR code which you can scan using the app, the QuickQ app, and this QR code contains the network ID of the console, password, an IP address, ready for you to scan and quickly connect to the QuickQ system. I'm using on my tablet here the Touch OSC application. Touch OSC has an editor on PC which allows me to configure my layout in the Touch OSC application. Let's have a look and see how this is set up and the commands available. You can see on screen now the 10 scene and playback commands available via OSC. This allows me to control the playbacks of my QuickQ system, level control, go, pause, and the flash. It also allows me to control zones, allowing me to toggle on and off 10 scene buttons in zones or globally all 10 scene buttons on and off. Let's have a look at the configuration on my Touch OSC application here. I've turned on the grid view and you can see I'm missing playback number 10. I'm going to right click and select fader horizontal and that's going to add a fader onto my grid. I'm going to change the color of that to blue just to match my other faders and resize it down. Then drag it into position like so. Once you've got your fader on your grid, you need to set its action. If I click on playback number nine, you can see the action over on the left here is forward slash PB, forward slash the playback number, forward slash nine in the case here. So for playback number 10, click on the item, untick auto, click in the box, forward slash PB, forward slash 10. That's now set to control playback number 10. If I click on the green button above, I've already pre-configured this to be the go button for playback 10. You can see the command in the line here, forward slash PB, forward slash 10, forward slash go. Let's look at how our 10 scene buttons are configured. Again, I've just put buttons onto my grid. If I click on the first button, you can see it's forward slash 10 scene, forward slash the button location. If I click on button number two, you can see that changes to two, three, four forward slash the zone, forward slash toggle, so I can toggle with that button on and off. If I go to my second zone screen I've made over here, click on an item, you can see it's now item, forward slash zone, which is zone two and toggle. Once you've got your layout customized and created in the Touch OSC application, and you can use any application that sends open sound control or OSC commands, not just a Touch OSC application or editor. Once you've done that, you can hit the sync button here, and that will allow me to sync this layout now to my Touch OSC application running on my tablet. Once I've done that, I'm now going to connect my tablet to my QuickQ system. So using the QR code, I can simply scan that. I've now got my tablet connected, running the Touch OSC application, as you can see here. I've now got control of the playback. So I've got half of the house lights controlled on playback number 10 here. I can go to my zones view, and I've got things like my sight lights uh, controlled in zones over here, as you can see. Or if I want to go to individual zones, I can simply go to zone one here and I could toggle on the house lights on that side of the room in one color, zone two, and toggle on the house lights on that side of the room in the other color. So that's how you can use OSC on a QuickQ system.